So it's been about a year since my first Sims 4 video, and back then I made that video because I was excited that The Sims 4 actually worked on Linux. Now I'm actually a huge Sims fan. I played SimCity 2000 back when I was a kid, played SimCity 3000, played SimCity 4000, was a huge, huge fan of the original Sims, but by the time The Sims 4 came out I had already switched to Linux and I hadn't even really considered buying it. There ended up being a really good deal on Black Friday in 2014, so I went ahead and bought it. And I didn't actually get around to playing it until April of 2015. Now back when I filmed my original video, The Sims ran pretty darn good, but it wasn't perfect. It had some performance issues and you couldn't connect to the online community. Fast forward a year and a lot has changed. In fact, I would go so far as to say that the game might just run better in Wine than it does natively on Windows. So in this video, I'm going to focus on how The Sims 4 runs on Linux through Wine. And in this particular video, I'm using Crossover Linux 15.0.1. So let's dive into the main menu. Now common in a lot of EA games is links on the main menu. EA is effectively trying to upsell you DLC and expansion packs. You'll be pleased to know that these links do actually work and you can cycle through the content in the little boxes below. The Sims 4 offers a lot of different ways to scale the graphics up or down, including a laptop mode, whatever that is. Now if you have an underpowered machine, you might want to run the game at a lower resolution. A lot of games in Wine break down when you try to scale the resolution in-game, but luckily The Sims handles this perfectly. I was able to drop down from 1080p to 720 with no problems at all, and then back up again with no problems at all. So that's pretty cool. The in-game screen capture works well too. You can change the capture quality and the capture size, and it accurately finds the path to where all your videos and screenshots are downloaded, so that's pretty cool. Now if you ever wanted to sync your Sims profile up with your Facebook or your Twitter, you're in luck. I was able to sync my Sims profile up to my Twitter profile, and immediately afterwards, desync the two. The in-game music player works great too, which is awesome because typically the music that comes with Sims games is outstanding. All your favorite songs are in here, even the classics from the original Sims, how cool is that? Now there are a couple external links sprinkled around in here. Most prevalent is the release and patch notes. When you click them, it asks if you want to open the page up in an external browser. Believe it or not, this actually works. When you click the link and hit yes to the dialog that pops up, it'll actually open Chrome or Firefox or whatever your default web browser is up in the background. Now it won't take your focus away, so you'll actually have to alt tab to the browser, but it opens it for you and that's actually pretty cool for a game running in Wine. Not a lot of them can do that. Now somewhat of a bummer thing is that Origin in-game simply does not work with The Sims 4. I don't know if it's systemic across all Origin games or whether it's just The Sims 4, but if you so much as enable Origin in-game and try to launch The Sims 4, it'll not only crash the game, but it'll take Origin with it. A side effect of this is that you can't open up The Sims 4 store in-game, which really isn't that big of a deal, I guess. Now you can rest assured that everything in the build a sim mode works flawlessly. And I mean flawlessly, it's as smooth as silk and there's not a bug in sight especially with the latest Sims update, which completely removes gender stereotypes. That's pretty freaking cool. And likewise, build mode works flawlessly too. Now I can say with some certainty that there has been some huge performance improvements since the last time I played The Sims. Here I'm building this crazy and bizarre house with this huge enormous shitter and this giant bathtub, and I'm not seeing any lag at all. The frame rate remained a steady 30, maybe 40 frames a second. That's pretty damn good, especially for a game running in Wine. And again, the same goes for actual gameplay. The frame rate is a steady 30, 40 frames a second. The graphics and animations are really, really good. I didn't see any glitches or any stuttering of any kind. The audio was great too. From the random sounds in the backgrounds, to the Sims talking, to the music, it all was great, as smooth as silk. The screen capture functionality worked great too. It even uploaded the pictures straight to the Sims community. And that's the last feature I'll touch on in this review. The built-in Sims community, which is not unlike the built-in Sims community in Sims 3, works just fine. Which is interesting because the Sims store requires Origin in-game to work, but yet the Sims community does not. And you can still make purchases with the Sims community. Which is again, kind of odd, but okay. I didn't actually test to see if I could make this $60 purchase here, but I assume it would work. Or maybe it would open up Origin in-game, I don't know. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this review. Now yes, I know that EA is this big evil game development corporation and they don't support Linux, but they do support Mac and I think that that says something. If you look up statements from EA people in regards to Linux, they don't say that they hate Linux or anything, they just say that it doesn't make financial sense to support it, which you can't really fault them for that, right? 
But since the release of SteamOS, and with Feral and Aspire and the other game porting companies out there bringing games to Linux left and right, who knows, maybe you'll see an EA game pop up for Linux sometime in the future. I mean, think about it. A year or two ago, Origin barely ran on Linux at all. Now today, not only does it run on Linux, but it installs on Linux just fine. Plus, Origin itself uses Qt5, so it's already a cross-platform toolkit. So yeah, that wraps up the review. Thanks for watching.